Here we talked about recessionary gaps. So of course in this video we have to talk about inflationary gaps. And this is when y is greater than y star and where you are already familiar with the graphs of an inflationary gap. So let's get right into it and start talking about the long run options of fixing this inflationary gap. The natural way would of course, this is familiar by now, uh, natural way is by doing nothing and that by doing nothing, the factor prices will increase, the aggregate supply will move to the left from AS1 to AS2, and this will lead to uh, prices to rise and money demand to rise and of course uh, interest to rise. These three always rise in the same directions when it comes to these policies and I'm sure I told you that in the last video. So AS rises, rises uh, goes left to AS2. Let's just reflect that in our graph. And that's it for uh, natural, quite fast. So the next one is, of course, contractionary uh, fiscal policy. And, of course, we remember that this is when uh, government spending decreases or tax increases and what this does remember when tax increase we won't spend anymore so uh, this is an optional but we can we can know from analyzing that tax increase causes a decrease in consumption and what we really want to know though is that uh, the that the aggregate demand moves left from 81 to 82 and so let's just reflect this in our graph 82 okay so we can see already that price fell so let's just write that down so the price fell and when the price falls you know what happens money demand and interest rate of course we know that they both fall as well so this falls that falls and of course, the lower interest rate causes something else to happen. It causes investments to rise. Of course, when we have to pay so less interest, we would want to invest in things like our business or our houses. So the last policy is contractionary uh, monetary policy. Oh, pen is going haywire. Contractionary monetary policy. And this is when uh, interest rises or MS money supply falls. This leads to 80 left, much the same as uh, our contractionary fiscal policy, moves from 81 to 82, which I won't reflect in the graph because we already reflected it with the fiscal policy. And let's look at the reactions of, of, of the banks and the, and the public. So the bank, what they do is they follow the, 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 the monetary policy, so they increase interest. And overall, why, well, before we go to overall, why uh, decreases. So why decreases. And the reaction to that, the reaction to that is that the reaction to that is that interest decreases. We know this because uh, pretty much, the, the, in general, the reaction is always the opposite of bank. So interest decreases and Y increases. And we know that when interest decreases, two other things also decrease price and uh, money demand. And that's the reaction, but we also know that the reaction is never as strong as the bank. So, overall, what happens is interest rises uh, and Y decreases from Y to Y star. And uh, if you haven't seen the video uh, where I went through the 
the reaction, the directions of the arrows and why they all go down, why P, M, D, and I all goes down, all go down in the same direction, why they move in the same direction. I'll put a link to that, but if you already watched it, then you can just forget that note. Uh, and this is the end of this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.